Well, good morning. Sunrise with Pastor Hayden here on a beautiful Saturday. Thankful again for the privilege of spending a few minutes with you, those that we love and care so much about. As you know, i kind of a thrift store hound. Uh, I don't attend ball games. I don't spend my money on uh, sports, and I don't have expensive hobbies. I don't do a lot of things that a normal man might do in, for recreation and pleasure. But I do get a degree of pleasure in going to thrift stores, and it's not just a waste of time, but to me a great adventure and a great saving of money. If you receive a birthday gift from me or a gift on another occasion, it probably is something that came from the thrift store. It's amazing the number of nice little gift books that we can find. First thing I do when I see a gift book, I check it for coffee stains and I turn to it and see if anything's been written on the presentation page. And if it's blank and the book is in pristine condition, no underlining, no marks, I think, well, that'd be a nice gift for somebody. So here recently I found for 99 cents a little book called Jesus Calling. And since I purchased this little devotional book, I've seen on Facebook many others make reference to this little devotional book, it's just a little daily devotional, very short uh, daily devotional is contained in that. And I brought it home and I showed it to Carol and said, that's going to make a nice gift for someone. And she leafed through it a little bit and said, well, I think I want it. So I gifted it to her and she reads it every morning. And today she shared something with me. I don't know whether it was uh, breaking copyright laws for me to read this on uh, this venue or not, but I'm going to do it anyway and plead ignorance if I'm breaking the law. But for April the 27th, Jesus says, Come to me with empty hands and an open heart, ready to receive abundant blessings. I know the depth and breadth of your neediness. Your life path has been difficult, draining you of strength. Come to me for nurture. Let me fill you up with my presence, I in you and you in me. My power flows most freely into weak ones aware of their need for me. Faltering steps of dependence are not a lack of faith, but they are links to my presence. And I thought uh, that was good as Carol shared it with me. I thought about, you know, the statement that Jesus made in this Jesus calling. I know that. This is not really Jesus talking, but it's something that he would say if he were talking to us today. And he said, your life path has been difficult, draining you of strength. And I think that of so many people that I know, people in my family, people in my church family, people among my circle of friends, those that I've learned to love in so many ways, I think of some of the difficulties that they've been through. And it's so true that our life path can become difficult sometimes. And when we find that it's difficult to travel uh, throughout life, well, it does drain us of our strength. But isn't it a wonderful consolation that Jesus says that if you'll come to me with empty hands, and actually the Bible does say, you know, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And he does promise that he will give us abundant blessing if we will open our hands to receive that blessing, open our heart to receive what he has for us. So I'm glad that he can fill us with his presence today, and that makes so much difference in our life. We can handle just about anything if our life is filled with his presence. He's promised to be with us always even unto the end of the world. So if life has been a little difficult for you and it's drained you of your strength, there is one that is there to strengthen and nurture you. And I'm so thankful for the words of Isaiah when he said, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. So it's good to know that Jesus is there and he wants to commune with us every day, regardless of the circumstances of life. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, bless this time that we've had with those that we love today. Thank thee, O Lord, that thou art there for us in every situation of life. And help us, Lord, that if, the life, if life becomes a little difficult, may we know, Lord, that when we are drained of all strength, that there is one that has promised that if we would wait upon him, that he would strengthen us. 
So we thank thee, Lord, for your promises today. We thank thee for the comfort that your word does bring. Go with us throughout another day of life. Keep your hand upon us. Help us to prepare our hearts for the Lord's day tomorrow. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. Well, thanks again, and we'll see you on Monday morning. Good Lord willing, goodbye.